Lego. Fridge is on check, step at pan check, ZZ's on check, hair rap on check. Man, I'm ready for that wicked, y'all can get checked. I'm on my way to camp, so go and get checked. Fridge is on check, step at pan check, ZZ's on check, hair rap on check. Man, I'm ready for that wicked, y'all can get checked. I'm on my way to camp, so go and get checked. I'm in the spirit, please stop messing with my zone. It's the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 54. And he said also to the people, when ye see a cloud rise out of the west, straightway ye say, there cometh a shower, and so it is. And when ye see the south wind blow, ye say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites, said what? ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky. Said what? Ye can discern the face of the sky. The Lord said, hey, you can see when the rain coming. Right. Or you can see when it's gonna be hot, right? But he said, "What? You can discern the face of the sky and of the earth." But what? But how is it that ye do not discern this time? He said what? But how is it that ye do not discern this time? The Lord said, "How do you not discern the times? How do you not know that we're living in the last days, right? Don't you see the war kicking off, right? Don't you see all hell breaking loose, right? You got Edomites gunning down Edomites, man. Ah. How many people died? Like 20, 20." 20 some people, right? Hey, hey, this is this is mass destruction on the earth, man. Right? And it's all prophesied from the Lord, right? So hey, we gotta come out here and preach these things to our people. Give me the book of uh second edges chapter nine and verse one real quick. Hold that. Let me do the book of second edges chapter nine and verse one. The book of second edges chapter nine verse one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Say, do what? Measure thou the time diligently in itself. So you got to measure the times, right? You got to say, okay, this is what the Lord said. This going to kick off, then this going to kick off, and then this going to kick off. Okay, hey, the Lord coming back, man. Read on. And when thou seest part of the signs pass. You see part of the signs play, pass. Right. Wars and rumors of war, right? A famine kicking on, right? And you see parts of the sign pass. What they mean? Which I have told thee, thee before. Then shalt thou understand that it is. Hey, hey, sister, you got two minutes for the words of the Lord? Two minutes. One scripture, sister? All, All praises. praises. Somebody get an umbrella over her so she can, you know what I'm saying? All praises to the Most High, right? So, you know what we're doing out here? In the cold, in the rain, right? What are we doing out here? Right? We are here to teach our people who we are, sister, right? Who will we be as a people? That's a question. Who will we be as a people? Who are we? I mean, what people? You got Chinese people. You got Arab people. You got. African American. You said who? African American. Now, 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 what do you know about African Americans? Three hundred years ago, what did you know about? What, what do you know about African Americans? What's the What's the African American heritage? What clothes did we use to wear? What days did we use to Did we always use to celebrate Christmas and things? So what do we do? We don't know. Give me the book of Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. Why don't we know? Why don't we know? I mean, don't everybody else know? Every other nation? We got the Chinese, he, he, he got his damn chopsticks. Right, he got his damn, the day of the dragon, the day of the dog, right? They, they got their heritage, right? But what is ours? The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse four. And even thyself shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Right, so Jeremiah was speaking to his people. Do you know who God's people is? What are they called in the Bible? Now, we, we, cause we are here for you. These brothers already know. These brothers know what's going on. Right, we came, we came out here for you, sister. Right? We got here to edify our people because our people don't know. It's not some type of church where you just go into the building and you want to hear what the pastor say. No, hey, the Lord commanded his people to go out to the highways and byways and command his people to come in. We have to go where the people at because the people don't know. Right? Read that. And even that, let's mark it. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So the Lord said that his people would discontinue from their heritage. What does discontinue mean? What does it mean that they, they stop, they discontinue from making Jordan mourns? What they mean? They're not coming out no more. So what do you think it means when they gonna, these people are going to discontinue from their heritage?
if you say it, it's not gonna come out no more. That means it's gonna stop. They're gonna stop making the Jordan ones, right? So what does it mean that the people are gonna discontinue from their heritage, right? So we 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 gonna, we gonna break it down. Read my topic. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. But these people gonna stop keeping their heritage, right? They're not gonna they're not gonna do the things that they used to do, right? They're not gonna speak the language that they used to speak, right? They're not gonna wear the clothes that they used to wear. We don't. That I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemy. I'll do what? Cause thee to serve thine enemy. The Lord said he gonna cause these people, right, that discontinue from their heritage to serve their enemies. Where at? In a land which thou knowest not. What? In a land which thou knowest not. He said in a land that you don't know, right? What, if, what people served their enemies in a land they didn't know about? What people was that? They went to a land they didn't know, and they had to go into slavery. They had to serve us, right? I mean, who do you think they're talking about? Us, right? He said they're gonna discontinue from my heritage, right? They're gonna serve their enemies in a land they didn't know. But the question on the table is, why did these things happen? Right, why did these things happen? We don't, because I mean, in school they teach us, yeah, we were slaves, right? Then we, then we got so-called free, right? We was fighting for equal rights to be equal to the people that put us in slavery, right? But why did these things happen, right? We're gonna figure out why. So once you figure out why, and hey, you kind of figure out what you gotta do to get out of it, right? You know? For ye have kindled a fire in my anger. What do we do? Kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Hey, we, we did something that made the most high mad, right? That pissed the most high off, right? Now, hey, I know it's kind of getting cold, it's wet, and it's raining, but hey, you gotta hearken onto the words of life. You will learn why we doing it, or why we going through the things we going through, and what we gotta do to get out of it. We gonna we gonna make it quick though. Give me Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight and verse number forty-eight. The book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse forty-eight. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Said what? Therefore, Therefore shalt thou, thou serve thine enemies. Now, who do you think the enemies would be that we had to serve? Who would, who would these people be? He said who? White people. White people, right? And these people are not our friends. I mean, let's just get it clear, right? These people don't have our best interests at heart. Turn that sign around right there, uh, get a lot of you. I mean, these are not our friends, man, ah. right? They had a knee on our neck, right? They had, hey, they had, we had another sign. They had babies out there on a uh, cotton field, right? Two or three years old, right? These are not our friends. That's because, okay, now we can walk hand in hand with them. Oh, we so called. These are not our friends, right? Bring that up. And you see what happened? What was that at? Uh, when they was fighting on, uh, on the damn boat dock. What was that at? Alabama. Alabama, right? And you had to choose. A, what side are you going to choose? Are you going to choose your people or are you going to choose them? Right? Exactly, man. Right? Because it showed that hey, these, these people are not our friends. These people are not our. Uh, uh, it, it really showed it. Out of nowhere. And you see how if we just gathered ourselves together like that, and we they know we superior, they know we stronger than them, right? That's what we are here to do to get our people back together as one. Right, Brandon. Up. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies. But now we gotta figure out, I mean, why we why don't we like each other? Why do we have hatred for each other? And we gotta figure this out. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord sent these enemies against us, right? Hey, the Lord sent the so-called white man against us and put, to put us in captivity, but we gonna figure out why. In hunger, ain't it like, uh, uh, I said 40, uh, 48, 45, it's like. Moreover, all these curses. All these what? All, all these curses. What, what are we going through? All, all these curses. And the Lord said the things that we're going through, they actually curses. I know you heard about people say the generational curses, right? And the things that we're going through is curses from the most high, you know? Shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What did we do? Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken mean listen. And we didn't listen to the Most High God. And what was he supposed to listen and do? To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. What was the Israelites supposed to do? To keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. So we were supposed to listen and keep the commandments, right? And the Lord would have blessed us, right? But you know, our people, we hard-headed. We don't want to listen, right? We want to go off and do our own thing. Or I'm just me, right? Hey, the Lord had to put curses upon us, right? Hey, punishments upon us, right? But through any punishment, hey, you're supposed to learn, right? 
But so what thing was we supposed to do as a people? We just read it. What did the Lord tell us to do? See that? <laughs> read it again. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. To keep his commandments. That's the thing we're supposed to do, right? He said if we do these things, we'd be blessed. If we break it, and we'd be cursed. He kind of laid it out flat for us. Just like your parents, we, we use this analogy a lot. Hey, if your mama said, hey, take that chicken now before I get to the crib, I mean, what's going to happen if it, ain't, if it ain't took out? You get A. It is, it is like that, right? You ain't, you ain't eating, right? Man, if you do, you know what I'm saying, you can have a good time, you get to eat, you know what I'm saying, you get to do what you're going to do, right? But the punishment for the Israelites that they didn't keep the commandments, the Lord said he's going to put curses upon them, right? Now, go to 16 real quick. Now, this is how, this is how to identify... So you got to go, sister. All right. Uh, you will, we'll be the Israelite sister. We got to repent and keep the commandments. We right. God's chosen people. All right? Never forget that. All right? Get, take the flyer. Oh, uh, you already got one. She already got one. Oh, well, two better than one. See that? Two better than one. All praise. You can drop that, though. Okay, I'll see that. But put the precepts. All praise. All praises. You still got what I was, uh, God, you ain't that? The book of 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2. Bring it out. Preach the word. What the Lord say? Preach the word. What we got to do? Preach the word. Be instant. In season, out of season. Oh, it's too cold. In season, out of season. It's raining. In season, out of season. Reprove. Rebuke. What we got to do? Reprove. Rebuke. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right, so we got to come out here whether it's cold, hot, raining, snowing, sleet. And we have to come. We commanded to come out here, man. There is no excuses, man. Right? We have to come out here to our people. Right? And, and brothers been through the cold weathers. And the Lord always sends somebody out there. The Lord right. always going to send his sheep out there, man, to hear the word. Right? All praises to the Most High. How you doing, sister? What's your nationality? Mexican? And on your father's side, is your father Mexican? All praises to the most high. Man, you see yourself on this sign up here? You see yourself anywhere on this sign, sister? Where you see yourself at on this sign? I think I'm on uh, First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32, if I'm not mistaken. They from, hey, we, you said, you said what? We would be, the, we would be God shows the people you said what? So, hey, that would be our true nationality, the Israelites. God chose. Give me uh, Isaiah 44 and 1. Because who do you know who God chose the people is? Well, first off, do you believe in the Bible? Somewhat. Somewhat. Okay. We 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 we're gonna bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44 and verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, who? And Israel, whom I have chosen. And so God, he has a chosen people, a chosen nation that he chose out of all the people that he created. Right? I mean, and, and some people might think that's far-fetched, but don't we have favorites? Don't you have a favorite food, a favorite pair of shoes? Right? The Lord has a favorite people. Right? And the Lord chose a specific nation, which is the children of Israel, right? Which is what we finna show you who we are today, right? So give me, uh, you got that first chronicle. Well, you can hold that, hold that. Give me Deuteronomy. We're gonna go back to Deuteronomy. Because this is how we identify that we are God's chosen people. 28 and 16? God, 28. Yeah, 28 and 16. You got it? It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse number 16. Bring it out. And it reads, it's like it. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. It said, Salaki. It said, Curse shalt thou be in the city. It said what? Curse shalt thou be in the city. Right, so the Lord, he put curses upon his people for his for their disobedience. Right? For them not listening and hearkening unto his commandments. The Lord put punishments upon them. Just like your parents. You don't do something your parents say, they're gonna put a punishment upon you. The Lord chose us as his chosen people. He told us what we should do and what we shouldn't do. And if we don't do it, hey, these things are gonna happen. So read that. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Right, so he said that his chosen people would be cursed in the cities. Now, what people would you say are, are, are living the worst? Let's just, let's just look at America. What people are living in the bottom of society? What people is that as a whole? Us. You said us? Us, right? You have the so-called blacks, Hispanics, 
and the Native American, and we at the bottom of the uh, bottom of the totem pole, man, right? And we at the the, the the lowest of the lowest, right? I know it's not a lot of um, so-called Hispanics down in the cities here, but even if you look at Cali, I mean they hey, they in the hoods, right? Hey, just like us, right? So what we reading is how to identify who God's chosen people is today, right? Because hey, they're still around. They're still walking on the earth today. Only thing is they don't know who they are, right? Because you'll say you're Mexican, right? You'll say your language is Spanish. I mean, but who taught you Spanish? Right, you got a point, come right. This is uh this is something that happened to the so-called Spanish. I say so-called because the most high God gave you another name, right? It was a thing, it was a uh, a thing called the Acomienda during the time of the Inquisition, right? And this word Acomienda. It said a historical a grant by the Spanish crown to a colonist in America conferring the right to demand tribute and forced labor from the Indian inhabitants of an area. So you know what I'm saying? So basically that Comienda basically was uh was was something that was forced on your people, right? Excuse me. That's, that's Satan, man. Satan every time. So that Comi we gonna, we, we gonna wait for them to go past. Right. All praises, yeah, all praises. This word Jeremiah 23 and 29, burning down. But anyway, you know said the uh the, so I'm gonna read it again. It said Encomienda, right? A grant by his by the Spanish crown to to a colonist in America conferring the right to demand tribute and forced labor from the Indian inhabitants of an area. So basically, you know what I'm saying, this this thing, what they called it the, the encomienda, during that time of the Inquisition, where they took the so-called Spanish, the, uh, the, uh, the so-called Mexican or Hispanic people over from, uh, uh, from their land and forced them into labor while they were here. They forced them into uh, to get all manners of gold and silver and do all manners of uh, hard labor work, like y'all do to this day. And that's how y'all learned the language Spanish, because Spanish comes from the Spaniards, right? That's not that's that's not y'all language. That's like how we was taught English, right? We spoke a language before that, right? And we all spoke a language before we was given a nationality and a language to speak, right? So what you, what you got? Uh, I want you to bring that out. The book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-five and verse fifteen. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. Say what? And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So we left our name, which is actually the children of Israel, read on. Unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. And now we're called after another name. Mexican, black, uh, uh, Jamaican, uh, uh, Dominican, right? And hey, not Puerto Rican, right? Now we're called after other names, right? Because hey, we was we went into captivity, right? We were slain, we were taken over by the enemy, right? But now it's time to come back to who we truly are as God's chosen people, right? Go back to 20, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Uh, go to uh, back to 16. This is the book of Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city? The Lord said that these Israelites would be cursed in the city because they didn't listen to the commandments, we don't. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. And in the field, because it wasn't just so-called blacks that was, you know what I'm saying, in the cotton field, right? You also had hey, so, uh, Native Americans, right? You had Hispanics out there working, right? It wasn't just us, right? So, hey, these curses are identified that we would be God's chosen people, right? We don't I mean, uh, jump down to 48. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse number 48. Let me start at 45. Let's do 48. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy to the 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Lord said he, we're going to have to serve our enemies. Who do you think the enemies will be, sister? Who do you think the enemies will be that we had to serve? What people would this be? He said who? The white folks, right? right? I mean, it's just, it's because the other sister that was just up here, she said the exact same thing. I mean, it's easy to identify that these people don't like us. These people don't have our best interests at heart, right? Uh -huh. These people want to see us destroyed. They want to see us fall, kind. They want to see us down bad. They want to see us strung off on drugs. They want to see us doing gang bang and violence. And they don't want to see us prosper, right? They don't, Cause they don't want us, to, ultimately they don't want us, to, they don't want to see us over them, right? Cause they know that we have power. 
when we all come together as a as a unit, right? And, and they fear that, right? You got something else? Can I bring it up? I was a piece about this. It says, this Deuteronomy 28 and 48. It said, therefore, shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So the Lord said that we have to serve them in hunger. What does that mean? That means hey, in the food that we eat. Because even like living in America, hey, you can't own anything and you have to get it from these people. Right? They create everything. They have the the uh, the, uh, the factories and all that to produce the food. So we have to lean on them and serve them and uh, uh, things that we have to eat. We don't. Because if they shut down, what, what's your favorite place to get, you know what I'm saying, your groceries? Yeah. All these... That's a good. That's a good. Hey, that's a good uh, story right there, right? And they they and they close they close all these up. What you gonna do, right? They close the Walmart up, the Deerbergs, the Schnooks, the and wherever you get your food, your your, your Whole Foods, your uh, Fresh Time. I mean, where we gonna get our food from? Yeah, but they don't they don't teach us that. Nor I mean, you still have to go get the seed from them. You still have to even if you get the seed, which they don't even have seeds and fruits no more. No, they take, that's crazy, right? That's how they control it because now you can't grow. It's really showing you how to lean on us. You can't, you can't even get the seed out and grow it yourself, right? So, I mean, this is showing that, and hey, this is another curse that, I mean, it's not even just us. They even do their own people like that. But it's still showing that they have power. That's that's oppression, right? We don't. So, like, you want to. And uh, this is how you know that they also show. You know what I'm saying? That they control us, right? They do it to their people, right? But if you go into any of those, you know what I'm saying, uh, rich neighborhoods, they don't they don't have all these, they don't have save a lot, they don't have none of those low uh, low end like rule of foods. Like in Cali too. You from Cali? No, I just Oh, okay, okay. I kinda heard the, the heard heard the slang. I kinda like, hold on, she fight from Cali. Alright, see that? Bro. Okay, okay, well um, Last precept, last precept. Two more, no, three more. Three for completion, three. This, God, 12 and 32, God, I'll pray. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35 and verse number 15, right? No. But in my adversity, they rejoice and gather themselves together. Yea, the abjects gathered themselves together against me, and I knew it not. They did tell me, and sees not, with hypocritical mockers and feasts, they gnashed upon me with their teeth. Lord, how how long wilt thou look on? Rescue my soul from their destructions, my darling from the from the uh, from the lions. It said, I will give thee thanks in the great uh, congregation. I will praise thee among much people. Right? Right there. All right, so this was talking about when the Spaniards, right, had gathered all of the so-called Spanish, the so-called Indians together on Thanksgiving after they done slaughtered their people, man. You know what I'm saying? When the Spaniards, after they done gathered, gonna group y'all all together, got, a, got all of y'all over here to do a, to, uh, to work inside the, uh, the man Eden Mountain, you can look that up, right, where a lot of, where a lot of so-called, so-called Mexican people died digging up gold, digging up uh, uh, minerals and all these other things for the so-called white man. Right. You know what I'm saying? They had a, a Thanksgiving feast. You know what I'm saying about it? And they and they and they and they, and they gnashed their teeth and they and they and they mocked you. You know what I'm saying in that day? But I digress with that. Bring it up. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter ten, verse twelve. And now Israel. And now who? Israel. Who who would be God chosen people the Israelites? I said, who would be the Israelites? Based off what we read, who would be them people? No, not white folks. Who will be going through the things that we just read? Us. So who will be God's chosen people? Us. All right. I mean, how does that feel to know that you, hey, you might, you're a child of God? I mean, a chosen, chosen. Uh, all praises. Deuteronomy chapter ten and verse twelve. And now, and now, Israel, what do the Lord God require of thee? You know that the Lord requires something of you. What do you think the Lord requires of you? To do, but, but how do you, how do you, what action do you show forth to be a good person? Be kind to everybody? So if I step on his shoe, am I, am I not a good person no more? I don't know. So that's the point, that's the point, because 
I mean, God shows you how to be a good person. It's something that you have to do, bring it up. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. To what? And to love him. And to serve the Lord with all thy God, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. What do you got to do? To keep the commandments. We got to do? To keep the commandments. You got to keep the commandments. The laws, right? We know? Of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. So, hey, you commanded and required to keep his commandments. Hey, the Lord said the laws is holy, just, and good. That's how you that's how you show yourself to be good. That's how you show that you love the most high, right? Because love is an action word. That's in the book of first John chapter 5 and verse 3. Right? To, to, to show God that you love him is by keeping his commandments. Right? You can't, I mean, you, you can't just say you love God and don't do what he says, right? And the only way you're gonna know what he said, you have to go into the book. You have to go into his word because it's already written down, right? It's written for our learning. Right, so anybody got the uh, the other fly? All oh, praise, you see that? Brothers in the spirit. All right, so we got a fly right here. I know, I know you got to go, but it's certain. It's, it's a it's a starter pack that you can start with, right? So come, it's a lot of commands, six hundred and thirteen commandments, right? But it's just something that you can start with. You know, today look it over, right? It, it, it might be hard. It might be hard. Hey, but sister, if you if you truly want to serve the Most High and show the Most High that you love Him. I mean, you have to do those things, right? You have to do those things. Bring it up, sir. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 37. Yep. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord. Say what? Let, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord. You got to let your mind be upon these things. You have to, you have to really think upon these things and, and, and know that, hey, if I do these things, this is, this is what I'm going to do to please the most high. Right? This is how I'm going to make the most high happy. This is how I'm going to show that hey, I'm a good person, like you say. Read on. Say, and meditate continually in his commandments. You got to meditate continually in the commandments. So you want to read that paper, probably, hey, go on your phone and look up the scripture, right? And see, hey, is this, is this what I should be doing, right? And yes, it's what you should be doing because the most I told you to do it, right? So all praise the sister, we would be, who would we be? Who would we be as a people? Chosen, what, what's the chosen name? Israel, I can't hear, I don't think we can hear you. Can't hear you. We can't hear you, sister. Hey, you sister. I gotta go. Like, yeah, we want you to say it just like that. All praises, all praises. All praises to the Most High. All right, sister. So we'll be the Israelites. God shows the people. Like, all praises to the Most High. All pray. Give a hand up for the sister, man. All praises. All praises. All praises. All praises to the Most High. What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? I see you. I see you quoting the scriptures, brother. To Barcelona. All praises, man. Brother in the spirit, man. Brother in the spirit. Right. So you know that you're an Israelite and all that? All praises, all, all praises. What's going on, brother? Brother, you see yourself on this sign, brother? You see yourself on this sign right here? Where you see yourself at on this sign? So where you see yourself at on this sign? Yeah, where at? Yeah. Maybe American black? That you that you, you say you are American black, right? So what we got here to do, brother, is to teach our people, I mean, who we truly are. Because black is just a color. Black is the color of your hoodie, I mean your jacket, right? The color of your Adidas pants, right? Now look at your skin. What color is your skin, brother? Brown. Now, I mean, who told us that we was black? I mean, who told us that? Exactly. So, I mean, because we're not really black. I mean, that's that's just a color. That's not a nationality. Everybody goes back to a nation, right? You got the Chinese man, he go back to China, right? The Russian man, he go back to Russia. Where does the black man go back to? Where is the land of black in? Can we get a one-way ticket to black? Right? Go take a vacation to black, right? And it's, it's not a place. It's not a language either, right? So we out here to teach our people who we truly are according to the Bible because the Lord tells us who we are, right? The Lord doesn't call us Negroes, niggas, uh, um, like we, none of these things, man, right? There's so many terms that I can say, but we, we're none of these things that the Lord calls us, right? So let's figure this thing out. All right, first, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna see if you know who is God's chosen people on the earth? Or what would they be called? What would God's chosen people be called? 
if you know. If you don't know, we're we, we gonna show you. I just wanna see if you, you know what I'm saying, you might know something. You don't know? Okay, okay, brother. Give me, oh, you got a precept? Nah, bring it up. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 22. Bring it up. That's what I can say. Let's get back to it. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 22. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? Are they what? Are they Israelites? Are they what? Are they Israelites? So am I. God chose the people, they would be the Israelites, right? So the God chose the people would be the Israelites. Now the next question is, who would be the Israelites today? Who would be God's chosen people? Because give me 1 Corinthians uh, 11 and 1. No, uh, it's like it, Romans 11 and 1. Because they're still around to this day. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, has God cast away his people? Said what? Has God cast away his people? God forbid. The Lord didn't cast away his people. Hey, God's chosen people is still walking around on this earth today. We don't. For I also am an Israelite. Said what? For I also am an Israelite. This man said he was an Israelite. And that the Lord didn't cast away his people. So hey, we got to figure out who God's chosen people is, right? Because it, it's something in store for God's chosen people, right? It's something to look forward to for God's chosen people, right? Give me the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. The problem is God's chosen people don't know who they are, right? Bring it out. The book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. The ox knowing his owner and the ass his master's creed. So these two animals, they know their owner. They know where they from, right? They know where to go back to, but what? But Israel, but who? But Israel, what people? But Israel does not know. But Israel, the nation of Israel, they don't know. What else? My people does not consider. They didn't even consider. They don't even care who they are, where they from. They just okay walking around, calling themselves niggas, man, thugs, right, demons, right? Hey, they okay with doing these things because they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't want to know, right? But hey, hey, you come to life, brother, if you figure out who you truly are as a people, right? You can figure out, hey, why are we in the conditions that we living in? What do we have to do to get out of this thing, man? You ever ask yourself why we go through the things we go through, brother? How old are you, brother? 18. 18. Brother, you know, you're a young man coming into the world, man, right? Coming into the adulthood, right? Hey, and this is a, there's no greater time to figure out who you is than at 18, That's right? right. Hey, when right. you becoming a man, right? Give me, um, give me uh, First Kings, Chapter two and verse one, real quick. Just have son, all praises. I know he be teaching. I know he be teaching you some stuff. Yeah, all oh, praises. He ran it out. All oh, praises. All oh, praises. Bring it out. First Kings chapter two, verse one. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and shew thyself a man. This is a mighty man, a King David. Right, he was finna die, he talking to his son Solomon, right? And he said, hey, you gotta show yourself a man. But how did he tell him to show himself a man? Is it to go get a Glock 9, right? And walk around the hood, right? Like the big bad guy, right? What, what, did, what did David say? And keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways. To what? To walk in his ways. To keep his statutes and his commandments. And that's, just a, that's, a, that's a true man, right? To walk in the Lord's ways and to keep his commandments, right? Hey, that's what hey, that's what a man's supposed to do, right? Uh, uh, give me um. So now we gonna show. Did, did your, did your uh, stepdad show you how we know that we God chosen people? Did, you, did he break down the, the, the curses to you and, and how to identify who we are? He don't remember. You don't remember? Well, hey, the, so the Lord, hey, so the Lord sent you out here to hurt this thing, brother, right? Bring it up. Yeah, twenty eight fifteen. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Look it up. It shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Right, so Moses speaking to the children of Israel, right? Your stepdad, I know he told you about Moses and he freed the children of Israel out of Egypt. You know about that? Going through the Red Sea. You ever heard about that? Moses splitting the Red Sea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is understandable. Yeah, Cause we all was there. We all heard it and, and went in, went in one ear and went out the other. Yeah. I said you might have to hear it a few times, right? Yep, yep. So, hey, look, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, right? And he told them after he freed them out of Egypt that they had to keep the commandments. You ever heard about the Ten Commandments? Thou should not steal. 
commit adultery, kill, all those things, right? So he gave him these commandments, the laws and the statutes that they had to keep. Now, he told them, go, go start at uh, 28 and 1 real quick. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It, it is shall come to pass, if thou shalt not, if thou shalt hearken diligent of the Israelites, listen, right? What's going to happen? Unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high. He's going to do what? Will set thee on high. And so he said, if you listen and keep the commandments, I'm going to set y'all on high. We don't. Above all nations. And what? Above all nations of the earth. The Lord said, hey, you the chosen people, the Israelites, if y'all keep my commandments, I'm going to set y'all above all people. And y'all going to be blessed. Right? I mean, it's just like, you know what I'm saying, if you, let's just say, uh, your stepdad say, I'm going to take you out of town if you, you you get good grades and you graduate, right? Hey, that's the that's the blessing. That's something that you're looking forward to, right, if you keep his commandments. Because he right. said you got to get the good grades, though. You got to get at least a 3.5, right? Hey, that's that's the commandment he told you to do, and then you're going to get that blessing, right? Now, I mean, what's going to happen if you don't, right? What's going to happen if you just skip a class, you smoking weed, right? You, you getting drunk. You at, you at all the parties on the weekend. You ain't caring about the grades. I mean, it's going to be a punishment, right? Because you ain't hard. He said it's going to be a problem. You know when they put that problem, you know, it's a, hey, it's, a, hey, it, hey, it's like that. <laughs> right here, uh, go to uh, 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now is if they don't listen. What's going to happen if they don't listen? We don't. To observe, to do all the commandments and the statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what, that all these curses, all these good things, all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. So now he like, hey, if y'all don't listen, if y'all don't keep these commandments, hey, I'm gonna have to put curses on y'all, right? I'm gonna have to put these punishments on y'all. That's like a spiritual ass whooping, man, right? You gotta go through it. Right? And maybe they'll learn if I put these curses on them. Maybe they'll understand that, hey, I, I, I'm in charge. Right? Hey, I got the power. Right? Then they gonna understand. Right? So, uh, we gonna go through a couple. What, you got something? Okay, you bring it up. It's the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 6. You were sold to the nations. Not for your destruction. You said what? Not for your destruction. Not for our destruction. Not for us to just be destroyed as a people. Right? But what? But because you moved God to wrath, what? Because you moved God to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemy. Right, so it's a it's a little punishment, man. You got to go through it. You got to go through that fire now because you ain't want to listen, right? So the Most High put us through these things. We gonna go through. We gonna go through a couple curses and then show you and prove to you how we know that we God chose the people, right? Go to sixteen. Verse sixteen. Curse shall I be in the city. Right, so Moses said that if y'all break these commandments. Hey, the first thing that's gonna happen, or one of the things that's gonna happen, is y'all gonna be cursed in the cities, right? Now, what people live in cursed in the cities? And you said curse is a bad thing. What people live in bad in the cities? Strung out on drugs, right? Drunk off stag bird at three in the morning. What people is that? <laughs> Not the malt liquor. Yeah. What people is that? Because I, I see the Chinese in the hood, I see the Arabs in the hood, but what they doing? What they doing in the hoods? What they doing in the cities? What the, what the Chinese people doing in the cities? Is they out there game banging? They, uh, they, they, they smoking no Lee Pack? Ah. Pouring, pouring the 40 out for, for uh, 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 Chong. <laughs> Chong Lu. I mean, what people is doing that? So-called blacks. But what did God call them? Did God call them blacks? What did he call them? He said what? Israelites, right? He's speaking to the Israelites. And you say black because hey, we kind of fit, we fit in what we read, right? But when I first, that first question I asked you is, I mean, who really are we? We can't be black because black is just a color. We come back, we go back to a nation, right? Unless we don't. And cursed shall I be in the field. He said what? And cursed shall I be in the field. And these people will be cursed in the fields. Now what that sound like? Living bad in the fields. Who was in the fields? So-called blacks. But who the Lord speaking to? Israelites. Alright? 
I'm trying to get that black out your mind, brother. Because a hey, black don't, I mean, that's, that's just an absent of light. Hey, I'm turning around real quick. Anything with black is negative. We had to, we had to, we had to make a sign because so many people call themselves black, right? A hey, black is in the absence of color. Black, black uh, what did I say? Leaves an air of mystery. I'm gonna jump down. It says, black is is evil. Black is often used to express a lack of hope. Cause any, if you think of anything with black, it's just negative. Black, black magic. You got the what's something? What's something? Black ice. Black ice. You don't want to sip on no black ice, right? A black. You see the black cat? They say it's bad luck. Right? And they try to put a negative, a negative uh, thing on black. Then they have white. I mean, anything with white is pure, right? You, you, are, you, come, you step out with your all white uh, forces on, you, you clean. You might have your whole white fit on, you know what I'm saying? You, you, feel, you feel pure, you feel holy, right? But they put that colorism on us to confuse us. Right, because we more than just a color, right? And we are, we are people, right? So uh, go back to uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 60, uh, Let's go to 60, uh, 46 real quick, 46. Look at Deuteronomy, chapter 68, and verse 46. Uh, uh, 28. 28. 28. My bad, 28 and 46, lock it. Uh, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. The Lord, screw up, it's lock it. The Lord said that these curses will be on the Israelites for a sign, right? What is a sign used for? What kind of shoes he got on right here? What, what, what brand is it? Nike. How you know it's Nike? He said on it. He got the sign. Hey, that's, that's an identifying marker. Are right? you looking for McDonald's? Don't go to McDonald's, but if you're looking for McDonald's, right, it got the big yellow M, right? The golden arches. That's how you know that's a, it's an identifying marker, right? So the Lord said these curses will be a sign upon the children of Israel. It's an identifying marker to know, okay, these, cause they gonna, dis they gonna, they gonna not know who they are. Cause they'll be going through these curses. Cause these curses are gonna be a punishment. They gonna discontinue from who they are. So when you see these curses on these group of people, okay, they gonna buy, okay, now I know that hey, we gotta be God shows the people cause we fit in what the Lord said was gonna happen to us. Right, read that again. Verse 46, and, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. For a wonder. He said, and for a wonder. Because he knew that the Lord's chosen people, God, his chosen people was going to wonder who they are. Give me Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30 real quick. All right? He said they knew that they was going to wonder who they are. The book of Baruch chapter 2 and verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivity. What? But in the land of their captivity. What's that? In the land of their captivity, they shall what? They shall remember themselves. They shall what? They shall remember themselves. That wonder. Gonna be sitting there wondering, damn, why we always why we always the ones at the bottom of the bottom, man? We always the ones getting gunned down. Why we got why we gotta carry a gun? To worry about my own, to protect myself from my own people, right? Hey, these people are gonna wonder these things. So he said they're gonna think themselves and wonder who they are, right? They're gonna remember themselves and know who they are, right? Let's go to 28, uh, 28 and verse number, uh, let's get right to 68. Verse 68. So far, who is this linking up with? What people? The Israelites, which would be who? Who would be the Israelites today? Us. Right? And that's plain. Brother caught on, man. Because we linking up with what we read. I mean, this is our history. This is what we go through literally today. Right? Let's go to 68. 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Into Egypt again. Now, what was the... Is did, did, did your stepdad tell you what the Israelites were doing in Egypt? That Moses had to come in and free them? Now, why would anybody need to be free? Let me ask you this. Why would anybody need to be free? If your, if your man's a lot, uh, I just gave it away. If you had to say, hey, free my man's, what that mean? He locked up. He's he, he's in bondage. He's a captive, right? So, hey, what was the Israel? Give me Judah chapter 5 and verse 11 real quick. Look at Judah chapter 5 and verse 11. Therefore, the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with laboring and brick and made them slaves. Made them what? And made them slaves. So the, uh, the Pharaoh, right in Egypt, 
he made the Israelites slaves, right? So they wasn't in Egypt kicking it on vacation, right? Uh, living it up, man. They was they working. Slavery. So let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 because hey, Moses said that y'all gonna be y'all gonna go, y'all gonna be sent into Egypt again. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Into Egypt again. again. What do you think that's talking about? He said, I'm gonna send y'all into Egypt again. Cause what was they doing there? Is that, what, was the, what was the Israelites doing in Egypt? We just read it. Were they on vacation? What was they doing? They was working. They was what? what what's this? Slavery. They were they slaves. Hey, the king of Egypt, he made them slaves. So when they heard that word in Egypt, what do you think they're thinking about? Slavery, right? Bring it up. It's the book of Exodus chapter 13, verse 3. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which he came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Out of the what? Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt was synonymous with the house of bondage, right? Because they were, hey, they were slaves there. So you hear that word, they all might think, like, damn, he's talking about Egypt. That's got, it got to be a slavery, right? I always get this analogy. Hey, you go to your, your mama send you out to your uncle's house. Every time you go to your uncle's house, he put his paws on you, all right? He, he beating you up, boom, 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 right? You go back to your mom's house, and he said, your mama said, you know you're going back to your uncle's house next weekend. What you going to be thinking about? <laughs> yeah, he put him putting his paws. Hey, so that's what, the, hey, that's what the Israelites were thinking about when they heard that word Egypt, right? That they're going to go be going back into another slavery, bring it up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. Now what people went into slavery on ships? So-called blacks, right? And they went into slavery on ships. Right, we know? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there. And what? And there. And there. Once you got off the slave ships, what happened to the so-called blacks? What happened? Soap. Said what? Got sold. Got sold. Right, we don't? That's and right. there ye shall see it no more again. It's like it. And there ye shall be sold. There you gonna be sold. Hey, this is our history written in the book right here. Uh, we right? We don't? Okay. Unto your enemies. So who? Unto your enemies. What people be sold to? Because the Lord called them the enemy. The whites. Right, right we don't? For buy men and buy women, and no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you, meaning nobody was going to be able to redeem us out of that captivity. I mean, everybody tried, right? But it was the Lord hand that was upon it. And you, he said, you got to go through this captivity. You got to go through this punishment, right? Because why we broke the commandments of the Most High? We, we didn't listen to the Most High, right? So that showed us how we know that we're God's chosen people, which is what? Who we call the Israelites, all praise. Give a hand up for the brother, man. Brother God, man. All praise. All praise, man. So we would be the Israelites. God's chosen people. Now the, now the trick question is, why do we go through those things? Well, it ain't a trick question. It is to see if you would listen. What didn't we do? What was we supposed to do? Remember, hey, remember your, your stepdad said you got to get that 3.5. You gonna go on that vacation, and, and that and what what what's your stepdad's word? That's a what? That's a commandment. I got you. The, he commanded you to do that. Hey, the Lord commanded us to keep His commandments, right? And then we were gonna be blessed. But if we broke it, He was gonna put no curses upon us. You follow him, right? You got the precept. All right, well, you kind of like. Yeah, you go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter nine and verse seven. Remember and forget not. How thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath. It's like the Lord said, remember and for, don't forget it. How you made the Most High mad. You provoked them, right? Because he told you what to do, right? He told you what you needed to do to get blessed. And he gave He, he gave it all to us, right? But we went off. We did our own thing, you know? Say, remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath. Salak you. Remember and forget not how thou provokest the Lord thy God to wrath in the wilderness from the day that thou didst depart out of the land of Egypt 
until ye came unto this place, ye have been rebellious against the Lord. Right, so, and we've been and the children of Israel been rebellious yeah. since they got since they got delivered out of the out of the, uh, out of Egypt out of slavery, right? Even up until when they got the uh, the laws, right? So our people been wicked, but now it's time to give me Isaiah chapter fifty five and verse number six. If you young, brother, it, it, now it's the best time, brother. It's the best time to turn around. And you want to be, give me uh, Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. What you got? Come on, give me, Isaiah, uh, give me uh, Matthew 5 and 17. The book of Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Uh -huh. Call ye upon him while he is near. Uh -huh. Let the wicked forsake his way uh -huh. and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Now it's time to forsake your ways, man. Because right? now it's time to come back to the commandments, right? And it, it, it's, it's not uncool to keep the commandments of God, right? Then people might look like, oh, he a lame. He he want to follow. He want to follow God. He want to keep the Bible. He want to uh, read the Bible, right? It's not uncool to do what the Most High said, right? Your Creator, the one that created us, right? We don't. And let him return unto the Lord. Said, what? And let him return unto the Lord. And return back to the Most High. We don't. And he will have mercy upon him. He said, what? And he will have mercy upon him. The Lord got mercy. You know what mercy is. Right? Hey, the Lord, hey, could have been killed a lot of people. He could have been killed any of us up here. And brothers got stories. Brothers been through some stuff, man. Wow. Right? That they, they shouldn't have survived through, man. Right? But the Lord had that mercy, hey, for them to be right here to this day. Right? Hey, teaching you, brother. Right? For you to know what, what you got to do. Right? To keep the commandments and, and serve the most high. Right? You got more on that? And to our God, for He will abundantly pardon. Right? So, uh, hey, hey, this is the thing you got to do, brother. And it might, it might take time, right? Just like your stepdad, he said he told you, but hey, now hey, you get to hear it again. And some people might have heard it once, and they never got a chance to hear it again. They got caught up in their wickedness, now they behind bars forever over one stupid decision that they could have, they could have just followed the Lord and not been in, right? Because the Lord, hey, any situation you can get a scripture for. It. It's gonna be a scripture to deal with that situation, right? And what you should have did to get out of it, right? You got some kind. Oh, you hold that, hold that, hold that. 16. Yeah. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 16. Get Let your light so shine before men. I said what? Let your light so shine before men. Because and you want to be that light. You step in the room, right? Everybody like, damn. He got a, he got a light around. It's not it's not a physical light when you see a damn actual glow around you but they see that you following the most high they see that you're not doing the same thing that everybody's doing right what's that precept i can't think of it on the top of my head following out a multitude to do evil right because you don't i mean especially you being young get pulled that somebody pull that real quick right you want to be that light you want to be that example amongst uh, your peers man right so when they see you they be like man i want to kind of i want to follow his way yeah bring it out the book of Exodus, chapter 23, verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Said what? Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. You should not follow a multitude to do evil, man. Right? Hey, they telling you to get in the car. Come on, let's get in the car. We finna, we finna go slide. Right? I'm not finna, I'm not, I'm not going. Right? Hey, it, I think the brother, I don't know if that was you that had that story. I don't, I don't know who it was. They said they, they was finna get in the car with somebody and they ain't, they ain't going. Hey, kind of got bad. Right? I don't, I don't think that was a brother up here, but I heard that story, right? They chose not to get in there and the whole car got shot up, right? Hey, you don't want to follow a mother to do evil. You want to be that light. Because, hey, people going to follow that light if they truly sincere and want to follow the Lord, right? Bring it up. Verse 16. That they may see your good work. They may what? That they may see your good work. They're going to see your good works. That's that light. they seeing that you're keeping the commandments. they seeing that you're following the Lord. And what? And glorify your father which is in heaven. And they gonna and they gonna see it like I need to follow his ways, right? I need to I need to stop doing what I'm doing. I need to get on his path. And he did a whole 180, 360, right? He's not the same person no more. Right? Everybody ever been through that. When we was like this one day, and then the Lord stirred just came upon us and and they say we changed, right? Because we wanted to start following the Lord, right? And like I said, it's not an uncool thing to do, because I mean a lot of young people gonna think, uh oh, they say, I ain't, I ain't trying to do that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to kick it in. You know what I'm saying? 18, people want to go to college, right? They trying to live their life. They trying to go out, right? Hey, that's, that's the time, man. But hey, it's no better time that, you said what? I said, then it be too late. And then it be too late, man, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Try, yeah. Trying to be like Duval, talking about living their best yeah, life. Yeah, trying to live their best life. But hey, now is the best time. 
And I'm saying, you saying you you following the Lord? That don't mean you can't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, follow your so-called dreams. You know what I'm saying? You might want to be a. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? You want to be a. Uh, I don't even know what, what's what's some some big an entrepreneur, right? You want to make your own clothing brand. Hey, brother's got clothing brand. Brother got the clothing brand on right now, right? Hey, this is my own clothing brand, right? Hey, brother's can you can do your own thing, right? But hey, you want to serve the Lord, you want to follow the Lord, and the Lord gonna bless you, right? Kind of bring it up. This the book of Pro of Proverbs chapter sixteen and verse number three. Commit thy works unto the Lord, right. and thy thoughts shall be established. Right, so you gotta commit your works unto the Lord, right? And your thoughts will be established. So all praises to the Most. I'm gonna pass to the next brother though. No, yes. right? Kind of been out here for a minute. Here. All praises. So you will be what? We'll be who, brother? Who are we? Israelites, all praise to the Most High, right? And we're gonna give you one commandment before you walk off. One commandment. What you got? The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Got one commandment, real quick. Speak unto the children of Israel. Said, do what? Speak unto the children of Israel. Who are the children of Israel? Us. We don't. And bid them. That, and what? And bid them. Bid me command them. So this is another commandment. We don't. That they make them fringes. That they make them what? That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. It's fringes. And hey, check the bottom of the brother's shirts up here. What's those? The fringes. All right? We don't. But this is our heritage. Hey, we didn't we didn't wear damn uh, um skinny jeans, stacked jeans, uh um the damn bait, and we didn't wear that back in the, we didn't wear the J's, we didn't wear that back in the ancient uh, days, right? We don't. And the border of the I'm saying that you can't, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just fabric, but we don't. And the border of the garments throughout their generations, that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Now you see the brothers, they got different colors, but they got the ribbon of blue on. We don't, and it's finna tell you why we do these things. It's not just a fashion statement, we trying to beat Kanye to the next trend. Right? This is something that the Lord commanded us to do, you know? And it shall be upon you for a friend, that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. Do what? Remember all the commandments of the Lord. It's a physical reminder, because our mind go off sometimes. It's a physical reminder for you to remember to keep the law, right? We don't, and it's our heritage at the end of the day. This is what our forefathers were. This is what the Lord, who they call Jesus, were. Right, we don't? Remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And what? And do them. To do them, we don't. That, right here. And that you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which you used to go a whoring. That you may remember and do all my commandments and be holy unto your God. Hey, this is a this is a commandment that we must do as God shows the people. That's why you see all the brothers up here, from the youngest to the oldest. Hey, coming back to the Lord and, and keeping His commandments, man. All right? Hey, y'all got that? You got that number fifteen thirty eight? Hey, you know where to get some fringes from? You know where to get some fringes from? Oh, uh, pray you gonna get you some? Uh, you got some? We got one, brother. We got one, brother. It's a commandment. It's a commandment that we must wear them, right? And so, you, do you got some fringes? And we might have some for you, brother. You want some fringes? What's they for? What's the reason? <laughs> I can't tell if you got the word. Hold on. Command is to remember to do what? Keep the commandments. Keep the law. It's a physical reminder because you forget just like that. Just like how you just forgot that fair. Just like you forgot that we can, you can forget. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and sometimes we brothers do forget, but that's what that that's what that mercy is, and that's what that forgiveness is. And sometimes our mind do go go astray. All right. So, hey, we might have that for you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got that 1538 on them? <laughs> Bring it out. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> all praises, man. You gonna Sounds let them choose a... Good. What size you were, brother? A small? You gonna give him a medium, he gonna grow in two. <laughs> got it right here. Wow, right there, the black joint. The black joint. All praises to the most high, man. All praises to the most high. Right? So one more time, what the fringe is for? Commandments. To do, to do what about the commandments? Remember. To remember the commandments. And who are we? We the Israelites. All praises to the most high, man. All praises, all praises, man. Right? 
Oh, pray to the most high. Good, good. Yeah, we, good. Anybody, anybody give him the flyer? Somebody give him a flyer real quick. Yeah, look at the bottom of the flyer. Look at the bottom of the flyer. We got our, uh, the times we be out here. Look at the bottom of the flyer. We got the times we be out here. We be right here. Watch the 13th. All praise. It's subscribe to the Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube and follow the Instagram. Yeah, subscribe to the YouTube and follow the Instagram. All right. All praise. Yeah, subscribe to the Instagram. Follow the Instagram. 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 Yeah, subscribe to the Instagram. All of the right steps to get the most high steps He showed me the way, first I was blind Now I see everything high def, ain't too much time left They only told us that we stolen Listen up close, my bro, my sis I'm here to tell you that we chosen The truth unfolding Just pay attention to these verses But my people so stiff-necked That's why we came with some curses You're more than worthless It's a lot of people fake woke, they quote A lot of shit that ain't even facts I won't clear the gun smoke I know times can't get tough but enough